Hello guys, welcome back to AppSheet tutorial. This is Aditya here. I am having three plus years of experience in AppSheet and I do freelancing and entrepreneur. Now, today we are going to see about the second part of the inventory management which is similar to the first part. So, in the first part, we have done this inventory and the purchases, whatever they happening, we have added the products similarly. So some of the users were asking how to deduct whatever the sales happened. So if you are new to this channel, just subscribe and hit the bell icon. And if you want to see the part one of this inventory management, I will give the description link and uh, you can check in the above tag also. So let's get started. So let's open the inventory management. Which I created previously. So you can watch the video if you want to understand clearly how this app works. Now I'm just going to update the quantity whenever the sales happen, right? So I'll add a new sheet. So there, the, I will name it as sales or uh, yeah, purchases we have done and sales. Okay. So this is our inventory and this is a purchase. So in the previous video we have created some inventory items and whatever the purchase happened based on the product unique id we are adding the quantity so purchasing means we are adding up to the inventory and sales happened from our inventory so the same just copying this columns for sales okay and uh, so on the, based on the number of sales we're going to deduct the inventory products okay so I'll just create add this sheet. Oops, sorry. So the sheet name is inventory management. So I just added the sales table and we'll go to the columns and structure whatever we want. This product unique ID should be the reference of the upper inventory. The so same like the previous purchase one. So it's the reference and this quantity is the number and this is text. Okay. This will be the unique ID. We will remove this show. We don't want to show this unique ID. And yeah, that's it. So now we have added the sales table and we are going to create the automation bot for deduction. If any sale happen, we have to deduct from our inventory. Right? So I am going to create an automation bot. Just save this. Okay. Okay. Just, I'll just copy the same bot. No, I'll just create a new bot and I'll explain. So, this will be the data change of table sales. Okay, and in this previous bot, this is purchase bot, this is sales bot. So, I'm going to Adds one view, the same thing. Sorry, sales box. Sorry, sales, sales, and then this we need to change. Okay. So, this update inventory action, quantity action, we have to go to the behavior. And previously, we have created this tool, and we just copy the same thing. Update inventory action for sales. This will be for sales. And this one is referencing the table to the inventory. So we have to update this quantities, which means we have to detect these quantities from the inventory table. So that's why we are referring the table, and the reference row will be the, the store dot product unique ID, which means whatever we are going to add the product from the inventory the number of sales going to happen that we are referring and we are updating the quantity 
using this action update quantity action so this reference row should be you have to mention carefully the key column of the inventory okay so we are going to update this referencing table inventory with their key column of product unique id so this one will be the unique id we are going to refer and those things we are going to update okay and the update quantity what action what we are going to do with this table and with this call key column which refers this action so this action should be going to copy the same action update quantity for sales and what I did in the previous videos, we have added the existing quantity with the last row of the purchase quantity. The so same like similarly, we're going to minus this one. Just simple this. Instead of adding, you're going to add minus. We are going to deduct the product which we are adding in the sales sheet. And this we need to change. Select sales sales table and quantity row number will be the last row okay. so in this update quantity for sales we're going to change it here also okay so what so I, what does it mean say so we are asking so i will tell in the automation part. just minimize this bot and this one will change to okay so yeah okay this is not showing for sales thing it's showing for the purchase since we have copied the thing it's showing the data for the previous table so i think we have to delete this and create a new one so let's create a new one new bot and name it as sales bot configure even while adding the row for the table sales okay just check this bypass security filters create a custom step next step will be action run an action data action so the data we're going to change right so update inventory quantity action for sales so because last time it didn't show right because it was taking the action from for this from this bot in the purchase table so that's why it deleted and created a new sales bot so it's got refreshed and it shows that so now so what we are configuring so when we any row is added in this sales table we are running this data action which is referencing to the inventory table so this inventory table we have to update the quantity of that respective product so that refer reference row means the product unique id so this is the product unique ids so that we are going to update this update quantity for sales action will do the action so that is this one the quantity minus the last row of quantity from this table sales table right? so now we add this Add the UX, uh, let's say UI sales okay. so just added now let's add a new product new sales order which is say laptop I'm adding so we have laptop 5 and uh, let's say three quantity we got sales so five minus three it will become two right so i'm just saving so it's okay so now the bot will execute it should become three now it's got it's not something that happened Quantity three or one. Let's say let's debug what happened to sales bot. So sales when we add 
application is stable. AST123 which we refer to AST123 as fine and this quantity also it's got added. Okay. Let's leave back some show what happened. Sorry. This show the product in it. Sales of quantity, don't make okay. Yeah, sorry. So, this one got here. So, I made a mistake while copying. So, this will be the sales, and uh, the row number also should be the last row of the sales row number, right? So, what does it mean? Is so we are selecting the sales quantity, selecting the sales quantity of the last row. So, the row number equal to max of the sales table row number. So, this is the last row number. So, this one is the last row number. No, sorry, guys, I made a mistake. Now, I hope it will work. We'll just hide this columns. It looks bad. Okay, now it looks it's got hidden. Now I, I will make the same laptop 3 purchase. Will this time we will make it detectable. Sync C5 minus 3 2. It's got detected here. Yeah? So cool, it's working. Right. So yeah, I hope this will be useful to you guys. So if you like this video, share. And uh, we will see in the next video. Thank you. Bye.